All right, hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back. It's Paula. We are doing our cash stuffing today for our November 3rd bi-weekly paycheck. Paid, obviously, bi-weekly, my husband and I, on the same day. And so this is when we do the bulk of our um, stuffing, and this will be for online syncing funds and challenges, as well as all of our variable expenses. So let's count it out. We have one, two, 50, 3, 50, 370, 390, 410, <clears throat> 430, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 670, 690, 710, 730, 750, 770, 790, 800, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 800, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 31, 931, I know I said 800, that was 931, pretty sure, and... I don't know why, for the life of me, I can't seem to figure out how to stack these in here correctly. It's just a, a whole issue. All right, so first, I'm actually first going to go into the online binder and do those because I didn't last time and I just like getting those kind of out of the way. So first, into our travel um, envelope here. This is what we use for the 100 envelope challenge. And again, this um, pay period, we have $80 to put toward it. So I'm not being super original, but I'm going to do this 78 and the two. I'm hoping to be able to have more than, more than $80 to allocate for that at some time in the future, but that's where I'm at today. So I'm not even counting these. I'm just kind of stacking them all up. So that's what we have in our travel envelope for the 100 envelope challenge, which is in a high yield savings account. Don't want that much cash on me. For the, um, we're doing the 52 week savings challenge. And we are doing it <clears throat> forwards and backwards and putting it into our emergency fund. So that means that this paycheck, we did 50, and three. So that comes up to a total of 53 per pay period for us. This goes right into the high yield into my emergency fund, which I am continuing to grow with this challenge for the next year, I guess. Um, I said I put just a little bit aside each. Okay, so I guess I didn't um, bring the cash down here for kids and Christmas and vehicle repairs, um, but I do have the cash somewhere and I did transfer the money. And I'm just, I am running a little short on time until I have to get back to work. So I'm not gonna go get them right now, but I put 20 in kids, I'll do it later. 25 in Christmas and 25 in vehicle repairs. Hey, hey, popping back in. Went up to get my um, savings challenge cash and found the cash for these envelopes. So 20 in kids, 25 in Christmas, and 25 in vehicle repairs. And I wanted to come on here. I am using uh, the Simple Budgets oh, Teller Slip. This was my second paycheck using it. My thumb is here awkwardly because I write my account number on the top when I hand it to the teller at the drive-thru. So go check that out if you haven't. I got the PDF. I wanted the sticky notes, but by the time I decided to do it, I was not patient enough to wait for them to ship. So PDF it was. Thanks so much, Veda. I like it. I get compliments on it. Thanks, guys. So now we are hopping in here. And um, this is our variable expenses um, 
binder. And this first envelope is spending, um, and that is just my spending um, that goes in this envelope. And that's 20, 40, 60, 70. Okay, going into beauty. Whoopsie. I'm getting $50, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. This will be a pay period where I will get a pedicure, which does take the majority of this money. In household, I'm just doing a 20. I do 20 in household. I'm just doing a $20 bill today. Um, for eating out... I felt like 60 wasn't enough. That's what I've given us like for, I don't know, since I started cash stuffing eating out, which was probably like two years, a year, over a year ago. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. When I started working more hours and so our budget increased, that was one of the areas that I decided to increase because it is a struggle area for us. And since I've increased it to 100, I don't know that we have eaten out as a family like at all. So that's great. I'd much rather have it there and end up um, throwing it in, not throwing it, but putting it in, um, um, savings at the end, you know, unused, rolling over into challenges and, you know, wherever I'm putting stuff, but it's going towards savings and future goals, not just getting blown. So that's cool. For drinks, we have 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Um, that's another envelope we have not been spending all of our money in from. However, um, at this benefit tonight, I imagine drinks will be expensive. Um, in car washes, I'm putting 10. I've skipped that the last few weeks. My Suburban desperately needs washed. Uh, family fun, I'm putting 20 into family fun, which is usually what I do. Um, $12 is going into church. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Dollar for each kid, for each for the next two weeks for uh, the collection basket and the donut donation basket. I'm not doing anything with chores right now. His. So this is my husband's spending money, which I do not keep on me, um, but I did put it in here for the purposes of having somewhere to keep it until he gets it from me. Forty, sixty, seventy and you know, stuffing and just practicing making these, some of these envelopes that I made. Groceries, what is this? Oh, here, okay. Groceries is, groceries gets 280 every two weeks. 100, 200, 50, 70, 80. 280. And I don't have my other thingy down here, so shame on me. It's actually in the car, so I'm not gonna go get that either, but I have 20 for work meals. So I'm gonna set that off to the side. 20 for work meals and 60 for a massage. My friend is coming back into town during this, um, during this, ooh, during this pay period as well. So I took out 60 for a massage for her and 20 of this is for work meals. I'm just gonna put that in the chores envelope until I get the wallet that I carry out and about with me. And then some of these actually, I had them in the category of I don't even know where I messed that up to be honest with you I think I probably just put the wrong amount of cash in here and that those go to sinking funds so if I come up with that error later I'll uh, put it up here on the screen as to what I did to mess that up but anyway as um, other than that this is the end of this video thank you all so much for being here and for watching please like this video um, on the way out if, if you enjoyed it and please consider subscribing if you enjoy budget and chaos Thanks, guys, and until next time, bye.